everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. So you will have seen my recent haul video and I've decided to do a couple of videos just to break up um, some of the items I received in the hauls um, and show you the products in action because I really, as I've said in these videos before, it's so frustrating when you see a, um, a haul of somebody's but you don't actually get to see them in in action so you don't know you know whether you like them or not now the only thing I've got on my face is um, moisturizer and I have my um, Marinesse collagen um, gel which I oh, sorry bumped which I always put down one of the things I got in the haul but I've used for quite a while is the um, Laura Geller um, Sparkle Under Makeup Primer. So I'm just going to use that on my face. And then I'm really excited because this is actually the very first time I have just taken this out of the box for the second time because I showed you in my review haul. But just taking it out of the box, well, I will be showing you in the haul because in all fairness, these are, I'm filming this for my haul video with all the products on my face so this is a first time use impressions the whole thing so um yeah so I'm using my Laura Geller under makeup primer just to see how that goes now I just realized something else I want to show you from my hauls and I haven't got it out of my box yet so thank goodness it wasn't far to reach Yay. So depending on how long this video is will depend on how long and what I get in on this one. So one of the things I got was the Fat Cat, bleh, Cat Von D Lock It In Foundation. Now I got mine in medium 54. Now I have no idea if this colour is going to be right for me or not. So I'm just pumping it onto my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to take two pumps. Looks pretty good for what I'm used to for my foundation colour so I may have been lucky in now first thing I notice is this foundation is really thick and not in a bad way because I expect it to be medium to full coverage but it is really a thick um, foundation like what would I compare it to wow I would say it nearly has a for me it nearly has a consistency similar to um, the Revlon. If I was to compare it to anything, the Revlon um, whipped foundation, because as I'm spreading it out, it's I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it as I'm doing it. So I'll try and try and stay in camera. It's blending in beautifully into my skin. And as you've seen, the only thing I've put down is that Laura Geller um, primer. But it's beautifully blending. And it doesn't feel like I've got a ton of makeup on my face. Like when I first pumped it out, I thought, gee, this is thick. And as I first put it on my face, I thought the same thing. Boy, oh boy, this is a thick foundation. But it's not feeling gross and heavy on my skin so which is nice so I'm just taking it down my neck and blending it out towards my face taking it right up under my eye now this is a test because normally when I put foundation anywhere near my eye if I'm going to react to it my eyes will start to water really really quickly because they're so sensitive and then I'm just going to blend it over my nose and around my cheeks to see how it goes covering pores and so it's covered the pores around my mouth just beautifully and I'm using if I didn't say already I'm using my um, Real Techniques um, buffing brush which is one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation with I use this for 90% of my foundations and wow I am really impressed love it I have to say for the price I would definitely keep this as um, a high-end foundation um, but I am just 
honestly I tried one I'll zoom back out again I tried one of her products I tried the um, the I'm trying to think what it's called the shade shifter eyeshadow is the first product of hers I tried and from that eyeshadow line has made me go back and purchase more and more in her line I think I'll end up buying everything in the line that she's got out currently because I am just so so impressed now that foundation is definitely full coverage it's definitely covered all my blemishes um, I would say it's done a fabulous job at covering my pores um, and giving me a really amazing finish I'm really really excited about that so if I'll zoom in to show you so you can see up close hi there will we focus we might have to go out a little bit more so just to give you an idea you've all fairly familiar with my skin with and without makeup on for those who've been watching it's definitely a full coverage foundation so it's if I can get my light to stay on you'll see it's covered the pores around my my mouth I've got none of my discoloration um, yeah wow really 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 impressed now just before I move on to anything else I'm just because I'm going to finish the rest of my face this wasn't in a haul video however this is something I wear um, a lot and it's the Laura Geller um, this is the this is in C, uh, SC4. This is the um, Camouflage Concealer, or C Camouflage Secrets Concealer, I think it's called. By the way, for anybody who is interested, as I say, in this colour, where's the colour written? Don't know. In the Kat Von D, I've gone with Medium 54, and in Revlon Color Stay in the Oily Combination Skin, I am, I'll zoom back out, sorry, so we're not so up close. Um, in the Revlon Color Stay for Oily Combination Skin, I am 330. So if that gives you any idea of matching your skin, because I had to guess online for this because of course I'm in Australia and we don't have Kat Von D out here. Now I'm taking a fan fat flat. Okay, one of my videos I can't talk. You now know. Welcome. Hi, anybody who hasn't seen my videos before, I can't speak. Um, this is the foundation brush in the F um, 69, I believe it is. So I'm just using that with the Laura Mercier. Um, Camouflage. So what I do is I take a tough couple of dips in this and then I take a couple in the lighter one and I just uh, start by just tapping that from the right in the inner corner of my eye where I get darkness and around my eye and just out a bit and then I blend it down around my, the side of my nose so I get that light triangle under my eye and it helps to camouflage my pores now I do have bags unfortunately bags you can't camouflage but I've had a massive couple of days so it was I've had a, my daughter's birthday one of my daughters had her birthday party so we had family dinner party and then we had um, a rather large breakfast tea party so we had quite a few people here that we catered for for breakfast so it's been a huge couple of days so if I seem flat or tired that will be why so I do apologize but I did want to film so and again I've got eyelashes and I've got as I would always say to my children fairy dust or sleepy dust as I used to say so I'm just taking that basically along I'm using the tip of the brush just to make sure that I don't make my nose being that if you contour which I'm not I don't do a lot of but if you contour the sides of your nose it makes it narrower I try not to get my concealer on the sides of my nose because 
obviously that's a lighter colour and it would make my nose look whiter so don't want to do that just taking it right up under my eye line and blending that out and again I've got no money now for those of you who are waiting for a um, some nail tutorials they are coming but I have to say and I'm not naming names with any of the companies but I have to say I have been having the worst luck with getting products sent at the moment it's just ridiculous and it's so infuriating it's driving me crazy now one of the other things I've got in my haul and my light won't stay on I bought the um, Too Faced Primed and Poreless now this is the skin smoothing priming powder and finishing veil so I'm just going to use this as my setting powder over my whole face so it comes with the powder puff I don't use the powder puff I like to use my um, Sigma large powder brush this is the and I have no glasses on you'd think I'd learn but I keep saying that and I never do this is the F30 so it's this beautiful big fluffy brush and this powder is just basically clear so if I swatch it you'll see it's got it's basically white but it's quite um, transparent but I just love it, it I did try it yesterday for my daughter's party because I knew I was having photos taken and I thought I would try it for that and my makeup lasted all day I think I just had what did I have on my Revlon Colorstay foundation because I know that it's tried and true for photography and I put this over the top and yeah the photos turned out like my face makeup looks beautiful so I really am impressed with this um, you'll see when I put it on and I will give you a close-up so I'm just I like to sort of dab it and then as I always do with my powders once I've sort of dabbed it and made sure that it's on all of my foundation and there's no sort of stickiness left I'm just putting it down so I can move my hair out of the road I always just sort of give it a bit of a blend and a swoosh around just to make sure there's no loose powder still sitting on my face so I will zoom in and I will show you the finished effect of that because honestly I have been these are two products that I've tried one yesterday and one today and I have got to tell you I'm so impressed so this is with the press powder on so you can see like this is really up close and personal of course but you can see that it just gives a beautiful finish to the skin and I've got no um, I haven't put any finishing spray on yet so I wish it would thank you wasn't zooming so you can see that it gives a really beautiful finish um, yeah I'm really happy with both of these so I'll leave it at that because that gives a fairly good idea of the my um, review on two of the things from my haul so my Kat Von D um, locket foundation again this is in medium 54 and then in the Too Faced um, primed and poreless powder um, high end definitely um, I know I'm going against what I'm saying about you don't need to buy high-end but there are some products that I'm happy to you know go out there and buy a little more spend the money on um, and I did really want to try the foundation from Kat Von D and I have to say I'm sold absolutely sold love it I think her products are absolutely outstanding and consistent across the range I've tried so far. So I hope you I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And um, yeah, be kind to each other. And I hope that you are all taking really good care of yourselves. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.